Hi, I'm Christy and this is my granddaughter, Brooke, and we're here today to show you a Christmas craft to share with your family. We're going to be making salt door ornaments and you'll just love making this with your family. Brooke is going to be making today a uh, Santa Claus Santa hand print. that she made. She made this when she was two years old, so we're going to see how it turns out when she makes it now that she's nine. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to make the salt door. The salt dough consists of three ingredients. So Brooke, do you want to mix that in for us? Yep, we have half a cup of salt, a half a cup of flour, and a quarter cup of... Water. Yes. <laughs> and we're just going to mix this up with our hands. It should feel like um, Play-Doh as you're mixing it, and that makes it really soft. And what we're going to do later is paint it. You could add color if you wanted to do a few different things to make candy canes. I made um, some stars, and if you look behind us here, we have the stars hanging up, and then once they're cooked, they're hard, and you can paint them or just hang them up like this. I think they look nice like that. To roll it out equally, you're gonna need anything, that two of them, that can make it the same size. You're gonna take your salt dough, flatten it out, so this will make it thick uniformly across the and whole even. thing. So you can you can uh, use it that way. These are just the inserts, wood inserts from spatulas. You can use, I also have here to make it thinner, our skewers or chopsticks. So now Brooke will show you. Now you're gonna take your rolling pin and roll it up so it's even. Now we're going to cut around it, right? So you use a, we use a, um, it's like a scraper, but you can use a butter knife or, or a plastic knife to do that with. So as Brooke's cutting this out now, she's cutting her fingers out, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in an oven. Uh, we're going to use a, uh, a cookie sheet to put it on. Uh, if you have a piece of uh, tin foil or parchment paper to protect your tin sheet, you put it in. You can put it in at 400 degrees for about 20 minutes and then check it. If it needs a little bit more, you'll know when it's done. Make sure you have your parents put the oven on for you and uh, take it out for you. Let it cool so that it's nice and cool. All done. All done? Great, Brooke, good job. So now we're going to scrape it up. You can use a spa spatula to get it off. Now you can also put some flour on your cutting board. We should probably, probably done that, eh? Yeah, we yeah. forgot that. Yeah. That's okay, because we can get it up here. And we're going to put it on the cookie sheet and throw it in the oven. Okay, so Brooke's finished painting her Santa Claus. Now here's her hand from when she was two, and here's her hand when she's nine. So it's kind of cool to keep a record of how big your, your kid's hands get. The one thing I will tell you is to make sure you put a hole in the top of the hand so that you can hang it on the tree or hang it wherever you like. So that's our uh, that's our salt old Santa Claus. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, you can make gingerbread men with cookie cutters out of the same dough and have a great time. Um, so I hope you enjoy doing this with your kids and it's a great memory for you. Have a great evening and a Merry Christmas.